But first, to give me an idea of what they face day to day, they're sending me into a fire simulation building to find a survivor. In the kitchen, what would you cook a chicken up? Roast chicken, 180, 190. 180, well, typical house fire, 1,000 degrees. The simulation is designed to recreate the conditions of a burning building and disorientate me in constantly increasing temperatures. I'm wearing a fog filter, which impairs my vision exactly like real smoke would. This is all I can see through my visor. I put this over my shoulder. It's bloody hot. Each room is full of hazards and I can't see anything. I'm totally disorientated. Finding a casualty in these circumstances is like finding a needle in a haystack. The more I exert myself in the heat, the quicker my oxygen supply goes down. You've got 120. Come on, it's person reporting. Come on, man. With virtually no visibility, Alison and I eventually find the dummy victim and I start carrying it to safety. Then my air supply runs out. And I have to scramble to get outside. He's on zero air. Yeah. Had this been a genuine fire, I'd have been in real trouble. Jesus Good Christ effort. almighty. That's <laughs> manic in there. Oh, my God. I love the heat, but from a kitchen <laughs> point of view, not from a house on fire. <laughs> Fuck, mate. Having trained with Alison and her team, I know that filling their bodies up with stodgy food is the last thing they need. My healthy homemade beef burgers will give the firefighters the energy and nutrition they need. Burgers don't have to be full of fat. If you make them yourself, you're in control of exactly what goes into them. The most amazing burger. Yeah. Yeah. A beetroot radish okay. and homemade chips. Right, OK. Right, mince. Season with salt and pepper and then mix. Smoked paprika gives depth to the flavour. Cayenne pepper adds some heat. Tabasco sauce for even more kick. I'll have to remember not to scratch my eyes after. No, no, it's going to be hot. Add Worcester sauce and ketchup to season. Mold the burger mix into patties and place them in the fridge to firm them up. Easy to cook later on. Guys, how do you like your burgers? Rare, medium? Big. Big. Large. <laughs> Cut potatoes into wedges and part boil in salted water. Baked potato wedges are a healthier and tasty alternative to chips. Then prepare the baking tray for the wedges with salt, pepper and olive oil. Jess, do you need a lift with anything? Uh, hey! What? <laughs> What is that? What is that? What is that? Don't worry about it. Smith with a dick. Get in there! <laughs> Season the parboiled wedges with olive oil, salt, pepper, a little Tabasco sauce, chilli flakes and finish in the oven on preheated trays. Right, uh, beetroot and capers behind yep, you. Yeah, OK. We're going to make a really nice relish now. Beetroot is rich in iron. Add balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, olive oil, capers and then blend. Flat leaf parsley adds an earthy, fresh quality to the relish. That's quite nice, actually, the sound of white beetroot. Yeah, <laughs> that's lovely. It's done that quite quickly, hasn't it? Yeah, nice. Chop salad to add colour and toast your baps to stop them going soggy. Then we're ready to go. Hey, hope you're hungry. Lovely. Hey! Googling tomatoes. <laughs> a nice, healthy, quick, mm. yeah, mm. under two pound, yeah, cheap burger. Yeah, absolutely. Well done. Well done, well done to you, sweet. Very <laughs> uh, really good.